there today we'll be talking about how you can start and grow your business on whatsapp or if you have an existing business how you can grow it on WhatsApp, and how you can make 300,000 500,000 around monthly without investing any money on adverts or even with little money if you have to. the first thing i wanted to know is this is not something i would advise you to do for a long time this is something you would want to set aside a particular time frame you want to do it for say three months six months eight months it's not something that can fund your business for the longest time say you want to run your business for 20 years you'll not keep doing it no it's temporary so you make money that you can now start investing on sponsored adverts and now grow your business from there personally okay. i started my business on whatsapp i made my first 10,000 naira in business 20,000 50,000 100,000 i mean in profit not in sales in profit on whatsapp i made my first 100,000 naira in sales 200,000 naira in sales 300,000 naira in sales on whatsapp i did i used about four methods which i'll be sharing the first way you can sell on whatsapp is number one through whatsapp tv that would cost you that means people that have large contacts on WhatsApp and they have a lot of people that view their adverts. You pay them a token. It could be three five. It could be five thousand. Some charge as high as ten thousand ever. You pay them. They showcase your products when someone wants it. The person makes an order directly from you. The second one is true broadcast message. Hmm. Let's break this down. This actually made money for me, and this is you telling your contacts to repost for you. That means. You have item in stock. In fact, that was how I started. <laughs> when I first imported my first set of bags and shoes, then I was selling bags and shoes. Now I sell gift items. When I first imported them from China to Nigeria, that was all I did. I used photo grid then. I mixed all these products together, the shoes I had available. I think I had about four designs of bags, maybe four or five designs of shoes. I mixed them. I designed them myself using photo grid and i sent a content to my whatsapp that they should please help me repost on their status and that was how i was able to sell those products and i ordered for a new one there's a particular item i sold like water on whatsapp then three in one bag i would find it and attach the picture here i sold like i made a lot of money from this particular bag and i sold it in high numbers and it was through whatsapp like i remember i made about six flyers then so the person is anything you are selling you mix them together in a photo grid or you do a video. However, people do not like reposting videos from what I noticed because they have to download with data, maybe about 15 MB. They have to post with data. Your video can be 60 minutes long. That means they have to post two times on their story. And I think it's looking like you are asking them for too much <laughs> because they are not the one that sent you to start business. It is you that you woke up one day that you said, oh, I want to start business. So don't pressure us. <laughs> so advisably, just mix, mix everything in a picture using photo grid, send it to them. It could be like um, 0 0.6 MB. With that, it is less stress on them. It's not even up to 1 MB. So if you have a lot of contact, using this broadcast alone, you can make sales through broadcast. You can make sales like 150,000 in a month, 200,000 in a month, depending on the kind of contact you have. But then I imported like five times from China to Nigeria and that was how I sold all those items. When it comes, I sent my WhatsApp, they will post for me. And in a day, I can get like 25 messages from people that saw my advert on someone else. And it's free. They're not charging me any money. It's free of charge. I can get 25 messages. And at the end, about seven of them may buy that day. The rest may buy later. And some may never buy. They'll just be on my contact. But this actually worked for me in the early days. It worked a lot for me. And... I made sure that I greet people. I are uh, you doing? Don't just send your um, broadcast on us and say, "Hey, repost." Know that we do not owe you. Like your contacts do not owe you. It is not forceful, and don't take it personally on people do not repost. Like in a day, I have a lot of contacts, and in a day, I get about six help me repost, and I cannot repost for all of them. If at a point I say I cannot repost for anybody, and that was when I started charging for my WhatsApp status because. I used to have about 1,000 views, so I started charging for it. And everyone knows that I use it for business. You want me to repost, you pay me money. When you pay me money, I repost for you. So there's nothing like, hey, please help me repost. However, I stopped asking people to repost for me too since last year, February. So not like I'm going to tell you to repost for me for free, and you would come to me and I would ask you for money. So in that way, it's actually balanced. When you see this method, make sure you write good content and use eye-catching pictures. You can edit using Snapseed, 
you can go to my playlist and look for how to edit your picture using Snapseed. You can edit them on Snapseed and make them very attractive. And make sure you write catchy content. Don't just write, and we sell shoes and bags. You're not the only one that's selling shoes and bags. Beg, beg, beg. Write something very catchy, something that would attract us. Then generate your WhatsApp link, plus 23470, then put your number. And once someone click on it, it leads directly to you. Don't put phone number, just with a click, it is going to lead directly to you. And this works all the time. Okay, the next thing you can sell on WhatsApp is the manual way you go and meet people, maybe in church. If you see someone that you think that this person would fit into your target audience, hi, sis, you look beautiful. Can I have your number? You connect with them. You advertise what you sell to them. You have their number. They have your number. I did this too in the early days of my business. When I go to church, I connect with people. And yes, a good number of them actually end up buying what I sell. They even repost for me and they refer customers to me. So if you sell something when you go to church or you go for an outing or you go for an event, you have to be intentional and be open to connect with people, give out your WhatsApp contact so that they can start seeing your status and they buy what you sell. This was something I did very well then. I was intentional about giving out my contact and getting more contact so that I can grow my business. If okay. you are still watching Do Well to hit the like button, this would help YouTube know that this video is valuable and push this video out to more people that are interested in this content. Thank you. The next thing is WhatsApp groups. Start selling in wholesale. I personally have three wholesale groups where I sell my products and I was intentional about building this group. When you have WhatsApp group where you resell, say you sell something for 15,000, you can have a WhatsApp group where you resell for 12,000. You, the cost price of that item could actually be 10,000 or 9,005. So you sell it cheaper for all sellers because obviously they are reselling. So be intentional about creating your first WhatsApp group. You post it on your status. You can also tell people to help you repost. This was another way I grew one of my group. Although that was just one of them because I realized that people there were not really buying right so i grew my group using sponsored adverts on instagram then i used whatsapp tv i'll pay people that have large views on whatsapp to help me post my wholesale link i send a good video and caption that is eye catchy that was another thing i used in growing the third one is posting on my personal whatsapp status and the other one is me sending it to people that was i think a one-time thing or twice maybe once or twice it wasn't really long i sent my wholesale link to people and I sent a good content, they helped me with post, and some people actually joined. So you can start with any of these. Make sure you start building your WhatsApp group. Wholesaler is another good way to make money on WhatsApp. You have wholesalers already where you can sell for them at cheaper price. If you have three sales directly yourself in a day and you have two sales from wholesalers, people that are buying to resell, at the end of the month, it's really something reasonable and you can make good money out of it. My next video will talk about the pros and cons of selling using this strategy on WhatsApp, using please help me repost. It has its negative effect. That was why I said earlier in this video that there are some things you don't want to do for too long. It is advisable you do it for a specific time frame because please help me repost on your WhatsApp would not make your business to start making 5 million monthly sales revenue. It won't happen. However, you can start there and you start, maybe it can happen, <laughs> but it will take time. But the faster route is doing Instagram ads, Putting yourself out there for a lot of people while having your advertising budget and in that way you are not feeling like you are trying to disturb anybody and you can always advertise like this whatsapp team then i used to do it once in a month then a few times it was twice in a month so if you are selling on whatsapp these are the things i want you to do if you are selling on your status don't just plaster everywhere with products 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 have content pillars for my, for my whatsapp till now i post motivational quotes I post my products, I post the videos, I do voiceovers, I don't just post pictures. I realize that voiceover has a way of connecting with people with their emotions. So probably because of why I sell, it gives me the leverage of doing more voiceover because people would always send notes and we fill it in a card. So we just read the cards and we post them on WhatsApp. It works and it's quite effective. So for now, of course, I still sell on WhatsApp, but I don't have people to repost for me. The last time I did it was February 2021. Yeah, like it's been so long. I choose not to do it again because I found another route working for my business. So make sure you are jovial, post your personal pictures, post your videos, post memes. If you say anything that is funny, post it. Don't just be too serious. Don't let people come to your WhatsApp and they think that everything you have to offer is just products, products. You don't have to post 
100 products in a day. I intentionally post just two of my products in a day, one or two, and that's all. Others would be motivational quotes or memes, something that is funny that would make you laugh intentionally. In this way, people are drawn to come and check your status because people want to buy, but they don't want to be sold to. Just connect with people and be you, be real, be natural, and all that. So for WhatsApp marketing, you need these two important things. You need to have a clean video and a clean picture. Then I'll be recommending this in my playlist to you, how to edit your videos, how to edit your pictures, so that they can be attractive to people. And you can add music, add transition, and when you post on your WhatsApp status, you would connect with people's emotion and they would buy more. Just click here and watch. I would definitely see you in my next video. Bye-bye.